100 years ago today, the Tri-State Tornado ripped through the Midwest, leaving a path of destruction unlike anything seen before. Traveling 219 miles over three state lines, it is still the fastest moving, the longest lasting, and the deadliest tornado in US history by far. What have we learned and what myths still surround it today? On March 18, 1925, thunderstorms grew on a humid spring day in Missouri. A small tornado that formed near Ellington quickly became massive, and it took off towards the northeast at speeds over 70 miles per hour. The neighboring town of Annapolis was 90% destroyed before the tornado moved into Illinois, and the damage there is still unfathomable today. Town populations were cut in half as the twister took just minutes to move through. Entire villages were erased, including nine schools that had classes in session at the time. The tornado's winds were over 300 miles an hour, but many survivors recall it moving in like an ominous black fog. After southern Illinois, the tornado punched through Indiana, causing further destruction before finally lifting after three and a half hours. The effects were catastrophic. 695 lives were lost and over 2,000 people were injured. But because of the technology in 1925, some scientists believe this tornado wasn't really continuous. Tornadoes tend to cycle before traveling that far, meaning they lift and come back down after a few minutes. We see a recent example of this in 2021, when the first quad state tornado seemed to tear across the south. In reality, it was one supercell that produced multiple tornadoes, including the devastating one in Mayfield, Kentucky. While we may never know the truth about the tri-state tornado, its chilling power is still recognized today.